Hey, what's up? It's Cecily from Drive Girl Drive. And yesterday was my first day driving for Postmates. Postmates, if you don't know, is a ride share company where you can actually deliver items. Not, not people, but like food or goods, that sort of thing. And um, it's pretty big here in Los Angeles, especially in like West Hollywood, Hollywood, uh, Marina Del Rey, like that little West, the West LA is really where it's popping. It's not really that popular out in the valley where I live. But anyway, um, based off the mathematical, mathematical equation that they gave us in the uh, onboarding session, um, the base rate is four dollars and some odd cents and then you times like the distance and you plus this and it's a bullshit equation i don't know it i don't think any normal person knows it but they they basically let you know at best you're gonna get you're gonna you're going to receive at least four dollars for a delivery and to be honest with you for most of the deliveries i got yesterday i got paid like four dollars and some cents now mind you some of the places that I had to go to deliver this food was ridiculous. We're talking like huge buildings that have their own delivery and courier entrances and this tag and that security clearance and that shit and you gotta go up these elevators and then you wait for the person to come out into the lobby just to hand them their food. And those were the people that did not tip me. And they were women. So it was just kind of like, wow. like. You, you know what it takes for you to get to work every day. Imagine what it took for me to do this and bring you food and check in and all that stuff and you didn't want to offer a tip. Like, it's kind of crazy to see uh, how people appreciate um, uh, people that do this type of work. I always tip. I tip my, my pizza people. You know, I don't necessarily tip my driver so much. Like, I think I want to. Um, but... I'm never, whenever I ride in a car, I'm never like prepared with cash because I don't like to carry cash anyway. So that's something I need to improve on for sure. Tipping ride share drivers because I like it when I get tipped. But in terms of like food service and delivery, no problem. I'm always giving good karma and good love to these guys in terms of like, here's a little extra. If you ever get me again, you'll know to look out for my food. Like, I don't know if that's a small town type of way of looking at things, but just like appreciating someone doing something you know something that's not automatic it was it it bothered me it bothered me to see like zero tip for what and you i gotta pay you five dollars to like do uh, a gold medal type stuff like we're talking hard work um you're moving around constantly one because you're trying to get to the food you're trying to find spots you're trying to find parking you're trying to get there you're waiting and you're trying to jam to get to wherever they are and then you have to figure out what the hell how do they how do i get in here how do i get to these people and i would say out of the seven calls that i had yesterday um more than half of those were very difficult a few of them were really easy and i was online for probably a total of two or three hours and i made like thirty dollars $30 before a tip. In terms of tips, I did get one uh, office where it was like $60 worth of food and they were super nice and chill and I got like a really nice tip from them. So it was like, okay, well, that, I guess that kind of balanced everything out because that was one of the easier jobs and they were so nice. Like everyone was so nice. Um, so it was like, okay, you know, it was that little bit of a push I needed. I talk to people who did Postmates and they were like yeah you know if you do a couple hours like in Hollywood or West Hollywood like you can make like 30 40 bucks and I was like okay that would be worth it put all that work in and you know 40 bucks easy like you could get squeeze out a hundred dollar day if you want to it definitely um it does not appear to be that easy I don't think it's true um and I feel like I feel like the um they're paying people <laughs> as least as possible Ah, just like all these companies are. And I want to say great things about this stuff, but it's just very difficult for you to make a decent amount of income to actually, um, to justify, you know, the effort. Now, my overhead is pretty low. I bought this car for the purpose of rideshare. Um, my, you know, in terms of like how much I pay a month and insurance and 
my uh, car payment, we're talking less than $300. So that's not bad. Like, that's easy to do, you would think. But I feel like I'm borrowing from my other jobs and my other things that I do to kind of keep this going. I feel like a gamble at times. And, um, man, you know, I don't want to be negative, but, you know, this Postmates thing, I'm going to give it a couple days. I'm going to do it actually at lunchtime today. And, I, you know, and kind of give you an overview maybe at the end of the week. Maybe that's fair to do that. But I expected a lot more. And it's like, you know, I I walked a lot. I hiked a lot. I did a lot. And I was just like, boy, people are not, people are cheap. They're not trying to pay people. And it's giving me a different perspective, definitely. Um, especially for people who work in the service industry. Like, it's not cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I appreciate the love and feedback and the eyeballs and all that stuff. It's Cecily from Drive Girl Drive. Peace out.